peace be to you today we reflect saint luke's passage it speaks about three woes to the pharisees and three woes to the law makers the pharisees they were considered to be a superior a group of jewish community saint luke was not worried about their status and their preaching but he was much worried about the omission of central things of the law by the preachings teachings of pharisees the central thing of a of a law as we read in 10th chapter 25 and following taking care of the love of god and love of the neighbor but the law also teaches who was the neighbor and who can read and apply the law of god and get benefited but the jewish community they have confined themselves that they called the neighbor only the fellow israelite so the law of god teaches everyone who was in need is our neighbor so everyone who was in need was our neighbor so we must spread our wings across all kinds of people who were in need so this the central theme of the law was completely omitted by the pharisees teaching this thing was clearly told by st luke through the preachings of our lord and the second thing was that he was giving three woes to the lawyers the experts these experts they were not able to accept some of the preachings of the prophets and the ancestors and their ancestors killed those righteous prophets and these people they are generations now they built monuments and tombs over their cemetery so jesus clearly condemns these people because they were preparing creating monuments on the righteous people by killing them they were not able to hear the words of the good prophets righteous prophets but rather they killed them jesus condemned these group of people dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus even today we see people when righteous people raise their voice their voices are completely crushed and unwise the good people cannot speak these days and we throw stones on the good people even today in the government sector or non government sector the good people became silent the reason was they will be life threatened if they were to speak against any kind of agencies dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus even today jesus speaks even today jesus sometimes accuses for we are being silent against the injustice carried out in and around our community let us raise our voice 
against any kind of injustice going on around us. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Thank you, Lord, for using us to be your beloved instruments, to raise our voice against the, the evil people. Allow us to raise our voice for the sake of voiceless community. Help us to work for the voiceless community so that we may follow your footsteps, Lord. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.